Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. I just plead the blood of Jesus over this video and all who's watching. I pray your morning is blessed. I want to share with you um, Revelation 21 again. The Holy Spirit gave me a vision, and um, I believe it's a very encouraging vision for the body of Christ. Um, so I went to a women's uh, like Bible study retreat last Friday, and I've been praying about sharing this vision. And um, so the Holy Spirit prompted me to do so. So the, the retreat was about Proverbs 31.10. Who can find a virtuous wife for her worth is far above rubies. So my neighbor had invited me to this women's conference. And during praise and worship, I had a vision. I had a vision of Jesus, and he told me that we would see him very soon. Then he began to throw gems into, um, like he was standing on these steps. He was throwing gems out along these steps and below the steps. And I began to gather them all up, and I took them back to him and laid them at his feet. And I had done, I believe two other videos about Revelation 21. And I was praying about um, sharing the vision. And yesterday, the Holy Spirit prompted me to read Revelation 21, which I'll read it again to you. All things made new. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write these words, are faithful and true. And he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give of the fountain fountain of water of life freely to him who thirsts. He who overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. The New Jerusalem. Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls, filled seven last plagues, came to me and talked with me, saying, Come, and I will show you the bride, the Lamb's wife. He carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God. Her light was like a most precious stone, <clears throat> pardon me, like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. Also, she had a great and high wall with 12 gates and 12 angels at the gates and names written on them, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Three gates on the east, three gates on the north, three gates on the south, and three gates on the west. Now, the wall of the city had 12 foundations, and on them were the names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. And he who talked with me had a gold reed to measure the city, its gates, and its wall. The city is laid out as a square. Its length is as great as its breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, 12,000 furlongs. Its length, breadth, and height are equal. Then he measured its wall, 144 cubits, according to the measure of man that is of an angel. Now I'm sharing with you this picture from verse 18. The construction of its wall was of jasper. And the city was pure gold like clear glass. 
the foundations of the wall of the city were adorned with all kinds of precious stones. And these, you know, the many colors that I saw in my vision, um, I believe are symbolic of all these um, gems in heaven. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedony, the fourth emerald, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth sardius, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth topaz, the tenth chrysophase, the eleventh jacinth, the twelfth amethyst. The twelve gates were twelve pearls. Each individual gate was of one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, like transparent glass. I've had a vision of that, by the way. <laughs> Very amazing. The glory of the new Jerusalem. But I saw no temple in it, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. The city had no need of sun or of the moon to shine in it, for the glory of God illuminated it. The Lamb is its light, and the nations of those who are saved shall walk in its light, and the kings of the earth shall bring their glory and honor into it. Its gates shall not be shut at all by day. There shall be no night there, and they shall bring the glory and the honor of the nations into it. But there shall by no means enter in anything that defiles or causes an abomination or a lie, but only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life. I hope this video encourages you today. God bless you. I love you in Christ. Amen.